so okay I can move it this much and not move that the crank is spinning in there it just looks like old time and chain rails taking up the slot Okay, so here at New Vintage, sometimes we get an engine that is supposedly rebuilt. And we, we found this engine was leaking, so we decided to pull the head, head off it. We wanted to at least replace the head gasket. We did that. It looked like it had the wrong gasket on it. It had been rebuilt. But anyways, we got it back together, paint it, and I was messing around with the crank, adjusting the timing on this, and I noticed that this crank would turn, you know, a good, yeah, I'd say quarter length, and this pulley wouldn't move at all and told me that we had a worn out timing chain, so it probably was never replaced. Um, th these things are $20, replace them, because they're the heart of your engine. Uh, the, it does have the old timing rails, we're not gonna deal with that right now, but I wanted to show what to do in case you have to do this in the car, or on, on the engine. So, I've already done this, but you take a, take a small chisel, and you can see the the gear the the gear the teeth of the gear you want to go in between them and just just pop it pop it one good time and it'll it'll pop out the links now we put a rag here so we wouldn't nothing would fall into our engine so there's part of the link there's the other part and what I've got is I've got a timing chain. I'm gonna pull out the middle link and put it to the side. What I've got is I've got a timing chain with a link. And we're gonna we're gonna feed that through so we don't mess up our timing. Uh, not not the easiest thing to do in the car, but it is possible. So what uh, I'm gonna do is, you know, you're probably gonna want some help. I'm just gonna put the link in to the old chain and the new chain to hold it. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna, we're gonna rotate the crank and we're gonna feed this in. And I'm gonna be careful about holding it on the teeth while he cranks it so go ahead we're gonna I'll tell you to slow up if we need to slow up Like that, go ahead. So there's no real redoing on this. Okay, hold up. Okay, go ahead. Nope, nope. Hold on. Let me I felt two teeth there. Go with it, go with it. I can, uh, hold on. okay, do it. No? Mm -mm. Yeah. I caught it. Come out a little bit. It shouldn't be. Okay, go back. Yeah. Okay. Well, what the hell? Okay, 
Okay, and now, now try to crank it. The right way? Yeah. Okay. We'll take this tensioner out and make sure this timing's right. I think it, it probably got off of valve timing enough where it was compressing. Well, <laughs> it's popping. Okay, we're slowing up here. Okay, I see the link. Okay, uh, a little more. Come on around with it. Okay, okay. So we got around, and let's say we're off one tooth, but that's going to depend on our cam timing anyway, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull this old chain off so I'm one tooth off that's the old one okay see even live this doesn't go exactly how you want to um, yeah let's get a, a socket and we'll pull the tension out And this may even give me a chance to hold this. I'm probably going to go ahead and tie some wire just to be safe in case this thing wants to wants to fall on us. Before, I, I, I could flip this chain off this, and even with this loose, I can't. You know, so that, that tells you right there that, you know... See, and I, I just jumped a, I just jumped a two. So that, that tells you better, better run some wire through this, just to be safe. <laughs> okay. Now I got my extra tooth back. Now what I'm gonna do is get an impact to pop this loose without jarring it. That way I can see where my um, position of my crank pulley is. And I, I've got my line up here, so. Perfect. Okay, well that's a good sign. Um, okay, let's, uh, I, okay, so I, I put it in my homemade crank turner, which is just an old crank pulley, and I want to rotate this where my crank key is straight up and the dowel, the dowel alignment pin is straight up. And I'm, I'm pretty straight up here. My crank, okay, my crank pulley is, is off a bit. It's right here, so Brandon, I'm gonna have you um, rotate the crank to where that bar is straight down. Yep, yep, look good. Keep going. Okay, okay, that'll get us close. Let me see where. Okay, I'm, I'm off a tooth. Oh, I just got. Uh, no, I thought I, I thought I just got it. a tooth. We're going to get it though. There. Okay. 
So that's straight up. You see, I had to kind of work it around this because when we let it loose, it, it popped a few teeth and that's just kind of the nature of it. I wasn't gonna try to figure out how to go back with it. Um, crank pulley is there. I've still got a little play in it, but I'm gonna feel a lot better with this this new chain here. I mean, I hardly got any wiggle there. Um, so I, I'd go with that. Plus that's a little tension. Sorry to put my back to the camera here, but I... Lean it on there, okay. So, I'm gonna get that link, which I got over. You got it, or I got it over here? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think I can fish it through here. Grab that rag and wipe that off, please. I have to be nice to you on video. <laughs> That's not true, folks. I'm, I'm always nice. Okay. Sometimes. So I at least got it held by the link there. I, I just want to... That looks pretty good. That keyway... Yeah, I mean, I, I'll take that. So we'll remove that here, but okay. So you got two pieces of the link. Well, actually three. You got a center link, you got the outer link. Now the center link is thicker. So I'm gonna pull this out a little bit just to access it. I'll keep tension on it so I can wiggle it in there. I actually got it right there. Perfect. Okay. The outer link. Now uh, grab that rag. I'm going to put this rag back here in case this link wants to pop loose or something it's better safe than sorry to have something laying there so it'll drop onto it okay this link is directional and obviously you you want it you want it to it, it's going in a clockwise direction the way we're looking at it here so you want that link you know the round part to be in the direction it's going so i'm going to set it on there maybe um get a uh, go ahead and give it a tap okay we're on so that's it that's it i'll get my lower pulley off double check it and we'll go from there Okay, so I wanted to note one thing. When I had that tool on there and I, I was checking it, I had, I still got slack here. And, and it's not that bad. But I realized we didn't have the tensioner back in it either. So once the tensioner's in there, all our slop is gonna be taken out. So that's a plus. He's gonna put that in right now. And that's how you can successfully put one in, uh, in the car if you want. Would I recommend doing it this way? No, not necessarily. It's even twice as hard in the car. But sometimes you find this stuff afterwards and you, you don't know and you gotta, it, it's, it's like, we gotta do it. Um, I mean, I, I would say how bad it was worn 
he would probably drive this car home and his chain would break. Um, you know, they get a lot of slop in them sometimes, but that's, yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, I, I have a little wiggle, but I can see the chain moving and I can, I can move the crank when I move it. So that's great. That's perfect. That's exactly what we wanted to, to happen right there, folks. So uh, that, that concludes a uh, Opal 1.9 time and chain install in the car or with the engine still assembled.